are you doing this morning? What can I help you with? Well, I'm reporting uh, Sam. Okay. And said they send a, I don't know what else to say. They kind of told me that you already made a report once about the $500. Yeah. And now it's 5000 Yeah. And you sent another check? No, no, no. Okay. They, they want me to go to the bank, make a loan, because I don't have any money in the bank, I, I know, to speak of. Uh-huh. But they, it's $5,000. I'm supposed to get a loan, sign a loan thing. And if the bank didn't want to know what I was going to do with that 5000 I was to tell them that I was going to, re, you know, re, remodel. remodel. And, um, Who are these people to you? How do you know them? I, I don't know. I don't know. They just offered, I'm supposed to get a whole bunch of money. Yeah. There, that's him on the phone now. That's him? Yeah. Well, it shouldn't take any more than a half hour to so get there and back. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, I hope so. Okay. Okay, I got that part. I got it. I got it. Okay. So I say that's a stamp. Oh, absolutely. 100%. What account number were you supposed to put it in? Oh, I called the bank. I'm my account. Oh, absolutely. Which, but what he said to put it in, don't take cash, put it in that, that account. Which account was you supposed to put it in? U.S. Bank. You're supposed account. to put it in your U.S. bank account? Yeah. Well, those, that $500, uh, I bought. First, they said they get a two hundred and fifty dollar uh, card, you know, cash card. I mean, mm -hmm. like uh, it comes through uh, this master charge or something like that. You can buy a card. And uh, anyway, I bought the wrong one, so I went back and bought one that had what had on it what he said to get, like reload. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but I don't know what bank or what company that went through. But how, then he how wanted it mailed okay. to this address here. I've been hanging on to junk here that I'm going this, I sent it to this address. They, he requested uh, overnighter. So I sent that. Well, it'd be Christina $500. Gales? Huh? To Christina Gales? Uh huh. 2821 Polona Street. What is this? Herman? Hernandon. Hernandon. What city? Uh, Mississippi. Yeah. 
Anyway, I don't know if you checked back on that or not, but that's where my $500 went. Hmm. And what did they promise you for the oh, money? Oh, there's a lot of money involved, and, and uh, it's like uh, National Assistance Recovery and Clearwater, Florida, Blaine Road. Then you wonder why I'm confused. I've been writing down everything he's been saying. And I just kind of, kind of, what do you call it, got gullible. Mm -hmm. I thought I was really going to win something for change. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's supposed to be some checks. So, uh, they deal with, uh, okay, they deal with Bank of America. It's supposed to take it over, you know, that that's where they, they'll deposit the check, that money. And he's been calling, and I, uh, to me, I've got a phone number, but <coughs> I don't think he's here in town, or if he is, or what What's I, his phone number? Mm, uh, just bear with me so I mm -hmm. can do the right thing here. <coughs> And that's his number? Mm-hmm. Or that's where he's calling from. But when I call that number, they say that it's been disconnected. Hmm. But to begin with, he gave me a phone number. So I wrote it down. So you're going, you called the bank to cancel that Check. checks. Um, and you didn't send them the 5000 No. Okay, good, good. I was supposed to get the loans written up. And leave the money right there in the bag, in the bank. So you're you're out five hundred dollars so far. So far, I'd have been five thousand if I'd have thought of it. Yeah, don't. Uh, you're you're I being scammed. So sorry, uh, that was not supposed to happen to me. Yeah. It just. Well, you're not the only one. That's why they do this because it works all the time. Um. So, some people lose more than that. Yep. Um, she can block his number, right? Through the phone company, I think. Do you have your phone book? I think there's information on how to block a number. Take a look here. Sometimes they put information in the front of these things. CenturyLink? CenturyLink? Yeah, CenturyLink. I thought it was AT&T. I started out with AT&T, and then they... And then now it's CenturyLink. Oh, boy. They changed the names on us so much that you don't know what you got. Mm -hmm. 
Well, there's not in here. As far as blocking that phone. Do you think that Crime check? Crime check would have it? No. What is this number here, this 954 that's number? That's my cell that, phone. That's your cell phone. Okay. I didn't know what it was either. I bet you they could probably find the number in your like history or phone history. Or at least give them a call. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. This is Officer Bode at the Spokane Police Department. I need some help. I'm out on a call right now um, where this nice young lady here is getting scammed uh, out of Mississippi. Um, and she's out about $500 now. What I'm trying to do is figure out how to block the number that's coming into her line. That way they don't get any money, more money out of her. I've, I'm going to be sending a report over to uh, Elder Services to try and help out on that end, too. I'm, Call rejection. Okay. What's your... Yes, absolutely. What's the business number? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You should come back. You never know it feels that bad after this thing happens. Well, especially when it started in, into my account. We gotta go through CenturyLink now. We're trying to get you set up.
I jumped through 40 different hoops. Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am. It's Officer Bode with the Spokane Police Department. I'm calling. Uh, I'm on a call right now. Um, this young lady's being scammed out of a bunch of money. Um, I'm forwarding my report to Elder Services, but I'm also trying to figure out how to block the phone number coming into her phone, her landline. What do you do when you block it? Three three one four. Yeah, that's what I'm calling from now. And it was the last incoming call to this phone. My name is Officer Bodie, B-O-D-E, the Spokane Police Department, badge number mm -hmm. Have you set up, I, I doubt it, have you set up your star 78 with a passcode on your phone? No, she says no.
that's what we need. Okay, thank you very much. No, not that I can think of right now. I appreciate the help. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Egypt. All right, all that to do this. Jeez. And of course, that was a block number that they called from. Can't reject it. All right. Okay, I had to set up a passcode for you for your mm -hmm. so, I think you'll need to, but if you ever need to get into your phone again. Um Okay. Did you go down to the bank to talk to them or did you call them on the phone? I called them but okay. uh, uh my daughter in law takes me over there. Okay. Um Obviously, don't send them any more money. No, I'm not. No. When they call, hang up on them. Or tell them, don't call me. Hang up. I'm not giving you any more money. It's a scam. Hang up the phone. Regardless of whatever they promise you, whatever they threaten you, don't give them anything. They can't do anything to you over the phone, okay? Don't be scared of them. Um... It's very enticing. They're going to promise you a bunch of stuff, and it's yeah. it's very enticing. But if it's the lottery, you never have to pay money to win the lottery. If you win the lottery, they're going to give it to you. They're not. You don't have to pay them for it. Um, yeah. If they're calling you on the phone that you won something or some long-lost relative has got something, yeah. not the truth. They'll come to you in person. They're not going to call you on the phone. Okay. Um, you certainly don't need to send money to anybody who calls on the phone. No. Um, another one that they use is um, they'll call you pretending they're calling from a jail that one of your relatives has been arrested and they, you need to send money to get them bailed out. That's a scam. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jails never take money from private people. They'll only take them from bail bondsmen and they wouldn't be calling you on the phone anyway. Okay. That's another scam, so don't get caught in that one either. Um, so get your account changed through U.S. Bank. And that's about it. Hang up on them when they call. Tell them don't call and then hang up on them. Don't, don't even listen to them. If you don't know who it is, you don't need to talk to them. <laughs> You know, because I can't 
he just now called. And yeah. He's going to call back. Yeah, he's pretty. I'm sure at 35 minutes. He, he's insistent. He is persistent. So and then, okay, then what comes next? I hope they don't get, you know. About it they won't. Something. They're not even in this state. That's why you're sending stuff to Mississippi. Mm -hmm. They're not around here. They don't know you. They're they're. Yeah. What they do is they probably call a thousand phone numbers a day, telling yeah. the same spiel yeah. until they get somebody to bite on it. Yeah. They, you know, yeah, you don't got to worry about these guys. Oh, they're they're sw swell talkers. Yeah. Yeah. If <clears throat> if you do notice something that seems odd around the house, don't hesitate to call us. We'll come check on it. Okay. Yep. You don't have to call. Don't have to. Just dial 911. Just dial 911, and that's that's our phone number. Okay. We will come and help you. You're more than welcome. All righty. Good luck to you. It is. It's nice out today.